Well, hello everyone. Um, it's it's been a while, hasn't it? Well, in fact, it's been bloody ages, hasn't it? If we're honest. Um, my apologies for that. Uh, in all honesty, uh, obviously with the uh, the lockdown and uh, everything else, obviously there's not there's not been a huge amount to talk about, has there? But um, I really hope you're all keeping safe. I hope you're keeping sane. I hope more, most importantly, really, I hope you're keeping gamble free because uh, that's really the big challenge, isn't it? Um, very, very quickly before I, I get into the subject of today's video, um, I just want to say thank you to everyone uh, who, during this time, has been watching my videos. Every one of the new subscribers, uh, nearly at 500 subscribers now, which is fantastic. And I really do hope that I'm, I'm helping a few people, um, particularly at the moment, like I say, when uh, you know there, there's, uh, there's a lot of challenges and there's a lot of temptations. Um, and that's what we'll talk about today, really. Uh, it's only going to be a short one. Again, there's not a huge amount to talk about, but I want to talk about the temptations I've had uh, during this 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 period, um, during this lockdown, as we call it, and um, how I've I've managed to deal with that. Now, I I'm different from a lot of people. I'm different from a lot of gamblers, and so much as that, I don't have, I never had like a uh, a real sort of specific type of gambling that caused me a, an issue. I gambled on on most things, you know. Um, I think the lowest lowest uh, sort of risk to me was sports betting. I did have the odd sports bet, but never really seemed to cause me a lot of issues. But beyond that, um, I used to gamble online on the online casinos. Uh, I used to gamble in bookies on the fobties. Um, possibly, I threw the most unnecessary money away in the pubs and stuff like that on the, the digital fruit machines. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd gamble on an awful lot of stuff. And and one of the things I said before. One of the things I said previously and, and, and sort of said was one of my, my key bits of advice was that if you have a problem with the fob tees, if you have a problem with uh, fruit machines or those sorts of things, um, or even land-based casinos, uh, I don't have one near here, so it's not been a big issue to me, but you know a lot of people do have that, um, then don't carry cash. And that worked really well for me, you know. I was going still to the pub when, bloody hell, remember that? Do you remember pubs? They were good, weren't they? They were a good, fun, a good laugh. Um, now, when you can still go to the pub, I used to go to the pub um, most days, to be honest with you. Most of the time, it was just for a quick pint or two after work. But on, on Saturday, Sunday, when there was football on, another thing. Do anyone remember football? Yeah, it was good fun, wasn't it? Um, I used to go in there and maybe spend sort of a few hours in there, you know, having a few beers and stuff. And, uh, you know, having cash on me always gave me that opportunity, always gave me that, that, that urge, you know, that ability to, um, to gamble on the, the machines. And... So what I stopped doing, I stopped carrying cash, and I used my my Monzo card. Um, you know, and I've said this before. I, I you know, very very highly recommend these um, these bank accounts. You know, I'm not sponsored, I'm not affiliated with them, but uh, they do give you the op you know the ability to block gambling transactions. So I could go to the pub and I could use it contactlessly. Um, and I could use it pay it for, use it to pay for whatever, you know. But if I went to a bookies. You know, or I, I walked past the bookies and the temptation was there. Then I couldn't go in and sort of say, I'll go and give you 50 quid on machine number one because literally the, the, the card won't allow it. It will block it. And that was brilliant. So not carrying cash was an absolute win-win for me. It really, really helped um, in the early stages of quitting gambling because it means I didn't have access to those instant forms of gambling, you know, the, the, the fruit machines, the, the bob teas and all the rest of it. Um, I could still gamble online, um, but then I use my own blocks, you know, for that as well. And I've spoken in detail historically about uh, the, the, you know, the, the gambling blocks you can put in place to stop yourself gambling online. But today, I, I, you know, this is what I want to talk about. It didn't take, it, it took weeks. It took weeks of this lockdown for me to realise. <laughs> there's a pigeon up there. Look. Um, it took me weeks for this this, uh, this lockdown to realise that actually. If I want to stop myself from gambling altogether, if I, because I have had, I've had urges, I spoke about it in a previous video, then all I need to do is make sure that any current account money I have is in cash. Because, weirdly, it's flipped. If I have cash, I can't gamble. Let's face it, I can't go to the pub, they're shut. I can't go to the casino, they're shut. I can't go to the bookies, they're shut. There's nowhere open, in a bricks and mortar sense, where I can go and gamble. So, if I keep all my money in cash, if the, the money I've got disposable, not the stuff that's in the joint account or the savings or the money with the wife and all the rest of it, if my disposable income 
is in cash, what can I do with it? Yeah, a lot of shops aren't taking cash at the moment. A lot of places would prefer you to pay with contactless, of course, because of what's going on. You know, be, most places will still accept cash if you need it. So if you do have a few hundred quid in your bank account, burning a hole in your pocket and encouraging you to gamble online, just go and get out of the bank over two or three days. Get out of the bank, keep it in cash, stick it in some, some, some safe place in your house. And then, you know, when this is all over, maybe straight it back in. It's, it's weird, but it, it kind of goes against what I said before, but it really has worked for me. Because even with that temptation comes um, comes knocking, you know, I can't, I can't gamble online because I literally don't have the money in an account I have immediate access to to do it. So maybe try that. Anyway, the main reason this video was just to catch up, say hello, say thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, a lot of people are watching these videos at the moment. A lot of people are watching a lot of the older videos, which is great. Um, you know, I really hope they're helping. A lot of people watch the videos that aren't subscribed. If you are, please do subscribe. It would mean the world to me. You know, I don't get anything financially from these videos. Um, but it's it's really good to see the helping people, and uh, yeah, I hope to continue being able to do that. Sorry it's been so long. Um, I'm sure I'll try and make some more videos as and when I can. But in the meantime, stay safe, stay sane, stay gamble free, and I'll uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, guys.